Wyoming is the only state in the country that doesn't participate in the Federal Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention Act. That act has been in place for 35 years and it set very, very minimum standards for states. Wyoming has a tradition of coming, kicking and screaming into compliance with federal standards. Something I want to get on the record, you keep talking about how we're out of compliance with federal guidelines. Remember, we opted out of those guidelines. Uh, so we had issued, we're not complying with them, but we opted out. So we're not in non-compliance, we just didn't bother to start. There are four core requirements of the Juvenile Justice Delinquency Prevention Act, the JJDPA. I will try to briefly summarize them. Um, the first is that states must take a serious look at their disproportionate minority contact. They didn't think I spoke English for some reason. So they, they, uh, <laughs> it took me three hours to get booked in because they thought I didn't speak English. They, did, they didn't bother asking me. So the disproportionate number of minority youth who are coming into contact with the system. I went into the circuit court not too long ago for uh, my own MIP and well they had these like 18 inmates come in and they, all they had was like MIPs and they were shackled and like they treat them like crap. They must uh, deinstitutionalize status offenders. So status offenders are again young people who have committed non-criminal offenses. In Wyoming, it is a criminal offense for a child to possess alcohol. Most other states treat that as a status offense, it means it would not be an offense if it was committed by an adult. States are not allowed, except under uh, narrow circumstances, to put status offenders in uh, detention or institutions. Unfortunately, we still have judges, we still have prosecutors who like to have that hammer over the juvenile's head to say, hey, this is a criminal offense. If you violate, you can go to jail. States must also uh, abide by two uh, mandates that ensure that young people do not come into contact with adult offenders. The other cells around, around, around me were the same thing of, uh, you know, old, old, older people, you know, way older than me. We know that, that the public does not like putting kids in adult jails, and that polls at 80, 90 percent every single time we poll, no matter where we poll, no matter where in the country. To me, the real issue is that by not coming into compliance, it means that we are not treating children the way we should. Wyoming Kids Count, a project of the Wyoming Children's Action Alliance, working to improve and promote the well-being of Wyoming's children and families. <laughs>